what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of a for which the a root of negative a is equal to 4. well i'm going to be using two methods to solve this question so we'll be starting with the method one so for method one, the first step will be for us to write this radical in terms of an exponent. So this can be written as negative a raised to the power of 1 all over a. Which means a radical can be written as a fractional power. Equal to 4. Our next step will be for us to get rid of the fractional power by multiplying the exponents by a. So I have negative a raised to the 1 all over a. I'm going to be multiplying this exponent by a equal to, for the right hand side, I have 4. I'm also going to be multiplying its exponents by a. Now notice that a can cancel off a leaving behind negative a on the left hand side equal to now on the right hand side we have 4 to the a our next step would be for us to make the right hand side a unity which means make the right hand side to be one and how do we do that we can do that by multiplying both sides by 4 to the negative a so for the left hand side i have negative a i'm going to be multiplying it by 4 to the negative a and then equal to for the right hand side i have 4 to the a i'm going to be multiplying it by 4 to the negative a so we have negative a times 4 to the negative a on the left equal to now on the right we're going to be applying the law of indices which says when i have for example x as a base raised to the m times x raised to the n as long as the bases are equal we take one of the base and add the powers so the bases are equal i'll take one of the base which is 4 and I'll add the powers so a plus minus a is 0 so this result to negative a times 4 to the negative a is equal to from indices any value raised to the 0 is always 1 so we've been able to make the right hand side a unity our next step will be for us to apply this property of for example when i have e to the ln x this is equal to x we're going to be applying this property to 4 to the negative a so this can be written as i have negative a times e to the ln 4 to the negative a equal to 1. our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm which says for example when i have ln x raised to the m this can be written as m times ln x let's apply this property to what we have here that means we're going to be having negative a times e to the now the exponent which is negative a can be written first multiplied by ln4 so times ln4 and this is equal to 1 our next step will be for us to make the exponent to be the same as what i have here from here the exponent is negative a ln4 but for here i'm only having negative a so in order to make it the same i'm going to be multiplying both sides by ln4 so negative a times a to the 
negative a ln 4 and multiply this by ln 4 equal to on the right hand side i have one i'll be multiplying it by ln 4. now ln 4 times this expression i'm going to be having negative a ln 4 times e to the negative a ln 4 equal to the right hand side 1 times ln 4 is ln 4. Our next step will be for us to simplify the right hand side. So we have negative a ln 4 times e to the negative a ln 4 will be equal to. Now we're going to be decomposing 4 so that it becomes ln 4 is same as 2 squared. So now let's apply this property of logarithm to what we have here. So we have negative a ln 4 times e to the negative a ln 4 equal to, now this becomes 2 ln 2. Our next step will be for us to apply this property of e to the ln x equal to x to this 2 we have here. So this becomes negative a times ln 4 times e to the negative a ln 4 equal to, now this 2 can be written as e to the ln 2. And this is multiplying ln 2. Let's move on to the next slide. Now let's rewrite what we have on the right hand side. So we have negative a ln 4 times e to the negative a ln 4. This is equal to, I'm going to be writing this first, ln 2 times e to the ln 2. Now let's compare what we have on the left hand side to what we have on the right hand side. You notice by comparison that negative a ln 4 is equal to ln 2. Our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm, which says when I have m times ln x, this can be written as ln x to the m. We're going to be applying this property to what we have here. So this can be written as ln 4 to the negative a. And this is equal to ln 2. Now notice that we can actually cancel out the ln by taking the base of e of both sides. So I'm going to be having e to the ln 4 to the negative a equal to, do the same thing here, e to the ln 2. So this is to clear out the ln. You notice that this will go leaving behind 4 to the negative a equal to now for what i have here this will go leaving behind two now let's write four in terms of base two so this can be two to the two four is two to the two and this is raised to the negative a equal to two now from indices powers multiply so two times negative a is negative two a so we have two to the negative 2a equal to 2. Now remember that this 2 has a power of 1. And since the bases are equal, we equate powers. So equate powers. So the power on the left is negative 2a equal to the power on the right is 1. Now to get the value of a, we divide both sides by negative 2. So that negative 2 cancels out, leaving behind a, this is negative 2, leaving behind a to be equal to 1 divided by negative 2 is negative 1 over 2. And this is the final answer for a. Well, this is method 1. Method 2 is actually shorter and more interesting. Let's go to the next slide. Now for method 2, our first step 
would be for us to write this in an exponent form so that it becomes negative a to the 1 over a equal to 4. Now we can apply substitution by saying let the exponent which is 1 over a be equal to negative x. So that means wherever I see 1 over a, I'm going to be putting negative x. And if 1 over a is equal to negative x, it shows that negative a will be equal to 1 over x. And how did I get this? It is simply by working out what is here. When you cross multiply, you get 1 to be equal to negative ax. And when you make negative a the subject, you just divide both sides by x. And you see, negative a is equal to 1 over x. So this is how I got this. So let's substitute what we have here, here. So here I have negative a, so I'm going to be putting 1 over x there. So 1 all over x. And this is raised to the 1 over a. And 1 over a is negative x. So I'm going to be putting negative x here. And this is equal to 4. Now I'm going to be applying a property of indices which says when I have a over b to the y, for example, this can be written as b over a to the negative y. Now you notice that the positions of a and b were flipped. And as they flipped to become b over a, it affected the power. So the power here was positive, now it became negative. And this is what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be flipping the positions of 1 and x so that it becomes x over 1. And x over 1 is same as x. And this is going to be affecting the exponent, the sign of the exponent. So it was negative here, now it becomes positive. And this is equal to 4 can be written as 2 squared. And when we compare, you notice that the value of x will be equal to 2. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.